School District 60 student. Most of you already know me as Miss Monica Conway. You usually see me coming into your schools and teaching fun, hands-on, applied design, skills, and technology projects. They will be a little bit different because I will be teaching you digitally from my makerspace to yours. When working in any type of makerspace, please make sure to review the Be Safe in Your Makerspace protocols. In today's makerspace, we'll be creating a night owl. Tools and materials needed are of the following. Here's a list. You can also find the list in the description of this video below. So now that we have everything, let's get started. Fill two 796 milliliter tin cans up with water, two centimeters from the top, and let freeze overnight. After frozen, you might notice the bottom of the can pushed out a little. This is okay for now. We will hammer it back later. The tin cans are very cold. It's important to wear work gloves and safety glasses from this point on. Take your 1A blueprint and cut out the blue line. Lay towel onto your work area, preventing your tin cans from rolling around. The towel will also absorb any moisture from the melting ice. Tape 1A blueprint to one of the tin cans using scotch tape. Put the tin can seam to the back. Push down the top of the blueprint onto the top of the tin can. Using your large nail and hammer, hammer holes as directed on the blueprint. Black bolt holes and lines are for large nail holes. Using your small nail and hammer, hammer holes as directed on blueprint. Red lines are for small nail holes. <laughs> Remove blueprint from tin can. Using your large nail and hammer, hammer two holes two inches apart on the bottom of the tin can. Place this tin can into warm water to remove ice. Once ice has melted, let the tin can air dry. Place the second tin can onto towel work area. Using your scissors and your 1B blueprints, cut the top and bottom blue lines. Do not cut out wing or beak at this point. Tape 1B blueprint to your second tin can. Put the tin can seam to the back. Using your small nail and hammer, Hammer holes on the feather part of the wing, as directed on the blueprint. Red lines are for small nail holes. Using your large nail and hammer, hammer the last three holes, as directed on the blueprint. Black bold lines are for large nail holes. Turn tin can over where you can see the tape used to attach the blueprint. Carefully cut the tape and remove blueprint. You will need this for later. Place tin can into warm water to remove the ice. Once ice has melted, let air dry. <laughs> Once both of your tin cans are dry, 
hammer the bottoms of the tin can down. This will correct the shape from when the ice pushed it out during the freezing process. Take your 1B blueprints and cut out wing A, wing B, and B. Place wing A over its original spot when making the top hole and feather holes. Trace outside wing A using a sharpie marker. Continue these steps for wing B and the beak. Cut out wing A, wing B and beak using the metal shears. Form the beak into shape by crimping and crumpling the aluminum using the needle nose pliers. Using your Phillips screwdriver and one lath screw, attach beak into designated hole. Do not screw in all the way, giving room for the owl's wire eyebrows. Cut 12 inches steel wire 18 gauge for your owl's eyebrows. Twist wire around Sharpie marker, making a spring. Place the wire under the screw that attaches the beak to the tin can. Tighten screw using a Phillips screwdriver. Trim wire if needed. Place bottle caps onto wood work surface. Hammer holes, one in each bottle cap where you would like the inside of the eyes to go. Using a Phillips screwdriver and lath screws, screw on your quarter inch washers to your bottle caps. Using a hammer and the large nail, hammer holes through the jar lids. These holes will be closer to the edge of the lid. Screw on the bottle cap eyes onto the jar lids and then attach to the tin can using your Phillips screwdriver. Bend wing A and wing B to flare out at the bottom. Take your wing A, place it over the top hole where it lines up using the Robertson screwdriver, half inch, 6-32 screws and 6-32 nuts, attach wing to owl. Repeat last steps to attach wing B to your owl. Remove towel from work surface. Drill two holes two inches apart through your stick using an electrical hand drill and a 6 16 drill bit. These holes are where the owl's legs will be attached to the stick. Screw in your two 3 inch 10 24 screws through the stick. 
screw in your two 3 inch 10 24 screws through the bottom of the tin can. Once through, attach 10 24 nuts to the screws. Cut a 20 inch length of string attached to the owl using the top side holes provided. Place LED tea light into the owl. Now there you have it, your very own Night Owl.